Hey everyone, Amnesty is here, and today we are checking out this K050 Intelligent Robot Sweeper. So our item for today is this intelligent robot sweeper right here and this is a budget option for those that just wants to get their feet wet in terms of robot sweepers right here because they tend to be you know go up in prices when features are added to them so this one apparently comes in white or black color i believe we have the white one right here in terms of size it's 244 by 244 by 60 mm working voltage is 3.7 volts with a 1500 milliampere hour battery working hours is 90 minutes so some of the features or functions is sweep the floor, mop the floor, spray function, and vacuuming. Charging time is 3 hours. So let's continue unboxing our item right here. We have some paperwork right here, a squeeze bottle right here, and the included accessory bag right here. Some velvet cloth right here, and some Velcro. I believe this is a brush for cleaning our unit, and our charging cable right here. So this is our main unit right here. So that's the branding right here. And this is the start button to operate the device. I believe right here is the basket or the bin. So that is the lid right here. So we can access our dirt filter right on the inside right here. This part right here, there's a rubber stopper. So that is where we can put some water on the unit. So this is the filter right here, our dirt filter. So you can always just lift it up and clean this one if ever it just gets dirty. So that is the rotating wheel right here. And that is the dust bin right there. We can use this brush right here to remove cluttered dust in there if ever there are any. So it's easy to put it back in. Like that. So on the other side of our robot sweeper right here, those are the brushes right here. We have two. We have a pair right here. So those are the ones doing the sweeping. The one of the features is when an obstacle is right in front of it. It should automatically be rerouted so it can go around that particular obstacle. So this right here should be the vacuum part, the white part right there. These are our rollers right here. We have two wheels on the back part of our robot sweeper. I believe this should be our exhaust so that air can pass through. So this part right here is the battery part. So you just have to remove one screw right there. So that's our rechargeable 1500 milliampere hour battery included right there. So this spot right here, this is where you put this Velcro strip right here. It has double-sided tape. So when you have already placed the Velcro right here, you can use the white cloth included right here on our package put it in here with the velcro strip so that it stays under our item right here so it can mop and sweep at the same time you can easily hold our cloth right here because this is a velcro strip right there 
So this part right here is where our rotating wheel is right here. So all you need to do is pull off this cap. So right here. That is the one that will help our robot sweeper to maneuver around our floors. In terms of our charging port, if the intelligent robot sweeper is facing you like this, it would be on the right side right here, right there. Just on the bottom of the device. So you can plug it in here like so. There you go. And you just have to put this side, this USB interface side to your socket or a power bank. So there's a red LED indicator right there. So that should indicate that our device is charging. So apparently this should turn green when it is 100% charged. So charging time is three hours and the battery included is 1500 milliampere hour. And after 100% of charging, you should be able to use our intelligent robot sweeper right here for 90 minutes. So those are the parts of our intelligent robot sweeper right here. To start the operation, you just need to push on the start button right here. Of course, you have to make sure that it is charged. Let's see if this will operate if we press on the start button right here. So the start button right here also illuminates with a blue LED light. So as you have seen right there, our pair of brushes were sweeping and working right there. The air is coming out of the exhaust vents right here at the back of the device. So that's good and working. We just need to try it out on our carpet to see if it can really pick up dusts and help us with the cleanliness of the room. So let's try it out. So based on our test right there, it was easier for these rotating brushes to get hair in them. So I just removed some of them, but there's still some in here. And there's the danger of, you know, cluttering these brushes with dirt because if they accumulate, they may no longer turn and sweep for our floors. So that is just a bit cumbersome that hair is getting caught in here and not getting sweet inside here via our vacuum so but the movement as you have seen from our test is just a circular motion hence our rotating wheel right here so it's just moving on a circular path unless it gets bumped to the wall then it would redirect its motion to another axis but other than that if it's not hitting anything it would just make the radius of its turn in a circular motion. Let's check the bin inside. If we caught enough dirt or dust or hair for us to notice. So let's open this up. All right. 
I think we have caught some hair and dust in here. So I guess that validates our intelligent robot sweeper right here that it works. So, there you go. So there you go guys. Hope you liked our quick unboxing and review of this intelligent robot sweeper right here. So as we have discovered, it has limited rotation in terms of the covered floor space which it can cover or sweep or mop for us unless it hits a furniture or the wall or so something blocked its radius it would just stay on one circle radius while mopping or cleaning your carpet or your floor and there's no features you cannot connect this to an app or map your floor this is just a budget robot sweeper so there are no features included like like those of the more expensive ones so this is just a straight up sweeper and mopper for your floor and it's not programmable in any way if you have inquiries and comments please put them down below please do not forget to like and comment on our videos if you haven't subscribed already please consider subscribing to obtain views click the notification bell select all to so get notified when we upload another one of our tech reviews right here as well as our usual video uploads also follow us on our social media links right here so that's been it this is Omnish Views and I will catch you guys on the next one